Hello, hello! I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you normally don't see my face, but today I just want to, you know, give you guys, uh, of, you know, a reason of why I missed my videos from last week. Because I normally, you know, I follow my schedule and I love to, you know, do it in a schedule that, you know, everybody knows when I'm putting videos on. Um, and, you know, I normally put videos every two weeks. Um, so I missed the video. I probably, you guys know that a hurricane, uh, came to Florida. So, you know, I had some problems in my house that I had to deal with. So that's why I missed my video. Um, but you know, I normally don't do that. And this is the first time. So I felt bad, but you know, I had to work with what happened in my house. So, but at least everything is okay and we are alive that that's the important part and we're gonna you know we're gonna keep going and and do you know keep doing videos but for now uh, i just wanted you guys to know that we're good uh thank you for the people that reach out i know that i post something on my youtube uh blog so i just wanted you know to let you know guys that i'm okay and everybody in my house is okay we just had a little bit of flow uh you know the house got floated so at least uh, we deal with that already and we're good to go so anyway today we're gonna do an open box of this bottom machine and i want to show you guys and do a little project with it so let's go let's do it so today we're gonna open this box that is a bottom maker from beaver um hopefully i'm saying that correctly um <laughs> but we're gonna open this box and we're also going to do a example of the bottoms and you know let's do a little prayer with our cricut let's go let's do it So here's our machine. I could not figure it out how to put the base because uh, the screws are way too short. So there's not a way that I can install that. But I figured it out the rest. Um, the instructions are really not that great, but I figured it out. Um, so it's really simple. It's just putting this in the plates like this. So in the plate, like you saw, I just uh, unscrew one of the like this side and put it here. It's not that hard, but the instructions are not the greatest. Um, it comes with this, so you can um, actually print and cut it with this. You don't have to use the Greco Maker. This is cool, um, but I have the Greco Maker, so it will make my life easier and better. So, but it comes with this, so in case you don't have a, a Greco Maker and it comes with replacement blades for this, so that's cool. Um, but again, I could not figure it out how to bolt my plate because you'll see there, there is not a way that my screw will pass this. So uh, the, the, these screws are way too short, but I guess I can go and, you know, buy some screws for this in a, you know, hardware store. So, but with the machine it comes with this as well with the protector films with the metal plates and the back plates so that's cool you know you know if you spend that much money in a machine at least it comes with that so that's cool that you don't have to buy that separate <laughs> um 
but we will work with the machine like this and see if it works. So here in my Crico Design space, I have this little design that I did, really simple uh, for my daughter, but I don't know, her birthday is not yet, but there, you know, I don't know what are the birthday is gonna be about, but this is just an example. <laughs> so um, I just have a circle that is uh, 1.5 inches. Um, that's what the instruction says to do it because that's the machine I have if you have something bigger or smaller uh, adjust it but for my you know for my machine I'm gonna do it as a uh, 1.5 um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put this circle here anywhere I'm gonna select everything uh, line center and then I'm gonna select my circle and the background here then align bottom there we go and now again I got it once again I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see a bigger I'm gonna select my circle and the background remember only you can select two things to do the slice I'm gonna slide it here perfect I delete this for now. Um, uh, uh, now I'm gonna select the circle again and the blue bar there and slice. Perfect. Let me start deleting. I'm gonna delete this, this, and this. I'm gonna select this and put it, bring it to the front. There we go. And perfect that is my bottom right there oh i have two so now that we have our uh, bottom done i'm gonna press group and then flatten so the machine knows that i'm gonna just cut you know she's gonna cut just a circle that's why you do that if if you don't do the flatten uh, option your the machine will think that it will have a couple things to cut it will have you know the background to cut it like this this uh half kind of <laughs> half circle and every single letter so that's why you do flatten so you know the machine knows that the only option it's gonna have is just do the circle I use the paper that it came with uh, the machine uh, to do my design so um, that's why it's kind of like this so but let's use it and try it and see how the bottoms comes out So here are my four circles already here in print and cut. Um, I'm gonna take four of the protective films, uh, four of the metal uh, bags and the plastic ones. So let's do this. So here are my bottoms. I love it and I, I really do love it and it was easy. Um, my only only complaint was the bolts that goes in the back of the machine here that the you know the ones that I have they're way too short um, for for this plate 
and it would make a big difference if you know if I had that because it would make you know my life easier to press uh, the machine um, but I did not don't have it right now but I need to buy and get some because the machine it's wonderful if you want to do this kind of projects it make your life way way easier um, you know and it comes with everything that you need really the only um, all the thing that you can buy is paper <laughs> if you don't if you don't have that um, but with the protective film um, you know it you can use any paper you want um, I would recommend something glossy because you know it will make it prettier but you don't really have to um, you know and it's easy to do super super easy and if you have a, a brick you know a big project that you need to do like 50 of those um, you know this machine will make your life easier um, you know again my only complaint was the bolts uh, other than that um, the machine is perfect again if you're gonna do this kind of projects um, so so please subscribe and if you like this video press like and God bless you and see you in the next video.